Hello and welcome back. And in this video, we'll be uh, taking a look at images and image related properties. We'll be exploring image processing in SwiftUI. Image processing takes a lot. So for that reason, Apple decided in storyboard world to use core image. So image processing can be done on GPU versus on CPU for additional horsepower. But SwiftUI have created uh, basically some uh, they've created some modifiers, some easy to use modifiers that can be applied on images with ease. And full power of core image is still available, but you don't need to get into detail if you don't have any reasons and you can use these modifiers that are easily available to you. Created an image and uh, basically added some basic modifiers to it so we can basically start applying these uh, image uh, modifiers. Let's go ahead and take a look what what it looks like. So let me build once. So um, to actually detect that I need a canvas. And there we go. We can collapse this area. And this is what our image looks like. Okay. So um, as you already know a few of the things, like, you know, if you want to add a border around uh, image, you can simply say color dot or border, color dot orange, and let's say 10 points of border. That's how you can add border. Uh, if you want to add opacity, you say opacity 0 0.3, and this is how your image is going to adapt to the opacity. Uh, if you want to drop shadow, so it's that simple as shadow with colors, so I'm going to say dot dot green color uh, just so it is more visible uh, 10 radius 5 5 and then you know, we have this green radius um, showing up here okay now um, now when it comes to blur uh, blur is a complex operation in UI kit, like, you know, a, a storyboard, and it takes a lot of processing power, and that's why um, Apple decided to put it out into a its own uh, image library. They called it Core Image, and Core Image, uh, a lot of time, it actually, or majority of the time, it actually leverages GPU power to um, basically create these images, and these modifiers that they have created uh, that are like, you know, as simple as just calling blur um, is basically something uh, that you can do with the modifier, but SwiftUI internally wraps around and its modifier calls your core image uh, API to actually get that information and get that image processed. So that's how it works. Okay, so you want to provide a, uh, provide a blur um, uh, and uh, opacity, you can do that too just as easy, as easy as calling it blur. And there we go, we have our blur effect uh, ready. Uh, if you wanna set brightness, you can simply say brightness and uh, give level of brightness that you want on your image. And uh, you can also uh, set the inverted color. So you can say color inverted and there we go. That's how it looks like when you use invert a color or you can multiply color. So you can say, for example, color dot yellow, if you wanna multiply yellow color to this, or maybe red color, and you're gonna notice the difference. Yep. Okay, so continuing forward, let's add some contrast. Just by calling contrast, and that actually takes an effect. And um, if you have hue rotation, you can apply a hue rotation, and uh, that takes an angle dot degree. You can just say 180 degrees, kind of like that, and your uh, hue rotation is going to take effect. You can provide saturation, okay, just by setting. I'm showing you all the uh, different possibilities, or majority of the different possibilities that there are. Uh, and how to use them with different parameters so you can use it according to, uh, like, as you need it. Now, uh, like we did last time, we looked at all these various different components in detail, and then we went into uh, developing a UI. Uh, we're going to do very similar thing, like, very soon, uh, but we want to actually understand um, like, you know, what are the options that we have available uh, so it, it'll be available for us to use, okay? So we can apply grayscale um, just for 
provide a, a value to the grayscale and it's going to take an effect and uh, you can say luminance to alpha that's another property to apply luminance now you can blend two images so that we put like you know this image into a z-stack and uh, i'm gonna put another image here uh, it's called reader and uh, i'm gonna say blending mode dot blending mode and i'm gonna uh, give it a blending mode color verb for example and as you can see those two images are now color burned into each other if i do like a difference there you go you can see both of the images and their differences okay so these are like you know really powerful um image operations uh, that you can actually do just by simply calling these uh, modifiers uh, let's take a look at a couple of them and a couple more so you already know about uh, sh uh, clip shape right you can just provide a circle and it will clip a shape for you whatever shape you have provided yeah now there is another powerful one it's called mask okay uh, so mask can take uh, like you know just like circle view and stuff just like as usual but it can also take a very powerful view so you can create your own for example we stack into it okay you can create a spacer right you can create text for example and you can create another spacer you can get font and what you're going to notice is that our text is not written using our font color but it's actually written using um, our image our backing image yeah so that's the difference basically that's what you're doing by masking the image to take the shape of like, you know, what you have. So your image is in the back, your text is in the front, and you're masking that image with that text by overlaying it. So your text is basically written into this, um, like, you know, image. And uh, like, you know, basically you have, uh, you have this new effect, okay? So that's how you can actually write a text on the top of like, you know, for example, nature, uh, and you can type nature, uh, like have a text nature, and then basically uh, have a background of like, you know, some green, beautiful nature, uh, theme, natural theme, or something like that. Okay, so uh, that's how you can actually apply that. Um, let's uh, take a look, like, you know, you can apply uh, some more like things, like you know, scale, so let's talk about scale. So you can scale your image, right? Uh, and you can say like you know I want to scale my image one and a half percent, so thirty percent more, and it's going to scale throughout through the center uh, to basically take that effect. Now you can actually uh, supply this in CG size as well, this value, and you can supply width and height. So you can say like you know I want to grow one point five in width size, but not in the height. The height I want to keep it same. And that's how you can do it. And um, the other thing that you can do is you can provide X, Y value and anchor value. So you can say X, X, and say in X direction, so on this one, 1.5, 1.5% or 150%, however you read it. And then anchor is going to be bottom trade, for example. You're gonna notice that your 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 image shifted uh, towards the left, right? So, its its frame is actually bounding this bottom left, and it's growing on the other side. And same thing you can do um, by say bottom leading, and it's gonna grow from the other side, right? So this is how you can anchor your image to the scale from certain directions. Okay. Now you can apply rotation. So let's take a look at one more rotation. So you can say rotation effect, and uh, you can give it an angle, uh, angle dot in it, and you can give it to eight degrees, 
And uh, for example, you want to give 90 degree to rotate to the 90 degree or 180 degree to rotate it completely opposite. Um, that's something you can do. Or you can actually provide an anchor uh, of rotation. So I can say anchor and uh, I can say anchor take unit point that in it. Um, or overload with x and y and for the rotate around y axis and as you can see it's actually uh, rotating around this y axis okay and um, there's one more rotate, rotation effect so rotation 3d effect okay and it takes angle uh, so let's give it an angle with degree uh, maybe 45 degrees and uh, Axis, uh, you can give like for example, x uh, value you can give 0.4. Give some, just some random numbers. Yeah, 0.2. And there you go. Your image is rotated in basically uh, 3D uh, space, and along with the axis of x, y, and Z. Okay, so those are some of the things that you can actually uh, uh, follow the image uh, processing that you can do within your, within your image to create some uh, custom views. Okay, uh, or custom UI, however you want to take it. All right, so this was images uh, in a little bit more depth uh, in Swift UI, and uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in next video.